I'll never forget the first thing I learned about this business. If a secret piece of news is divulged by a spy before the time is ripe, he must be put to death, together with the man to whom the secret was told. Master Sun said that. My name is Sean. Today, I'm quitting my job. One who is skillful at keeping the enemy on the move maintains deceitful appearances, according to which the enemy will act. All warfare, big or small, is based on deception. Simulated disorder postulates perfect discipline. Simulated fear postulates courage, while simulated weakness postulates strength. No relationships are more intimate than those of spies. No one should be more liberally rewarded than spies. And in no other business should greater secrecy be kept than espionage. It is also better to attack with strategy and cunning rather than blind confrontation. Know your enemy. The good fighters of old first put themselves beyond the possibility of defeat, and then waited for an opportunity of defeating the enemy. Victory is gained by surprise. Therefore, those skilled at the unorthodox are as infinite as heaven and earth, as unending as the flow of the great rivers and streams, and like the sun and the moon, they end but only to begin anew. They die and are reborn. All of these things are the divine art of subtlety and secrecy. Through that we learn to be invisible, inaudible, and hence we can hold the enemy's fate in our hands. Ground on which we can only be saved from destruction by fighting without delay. It's called dying ground. Draw them in with the prospect of gain. Take them by confusion. Therefore, the clever combatant imposes his will on the enemy, but does not allow the enemy's will to be imposed upon him. For it is precisely when a force has fallen into harm's way that it is capable of striking a blow for victory. These are the rules of military operations, and such is the art of warfare. Putting all those things into practice is much easier said than done. Things move too fast in this world, and I need a chance to breathe. My name is Sean, and today, I quit my job. <laughs>